you people who have funded her is disgusting to me. I hope you burn in hell. I hope you, you burn in hell and I hope your kids get bone cancer. I think you're horrible. You're horrible people. You're just disgusting. There's, there's no other way to see it. You know, you're, you're bad people. You back up someone who's a bad person, a genuinely bad person. So I wish you the worst. That's all. <laughs> That's all. I wish you the absolute worst. I hope you burn in hell. I hope your family does. I have no respect for any of you. You guys who gave this chick money, just disgusting. Just disgusting. Just, ugh. Like you gave someone money who literally lost her children because of her substance abuse problem. Her kids were adopted out by somebody else and you sent her money. You sent her money. <sighs> I don't really care if you gave Kate money. I hope you get bone cancer. I think you're scum. You are scum of the earth. You Suing you for harassment, he's, he's not being truthful with you. You're because, still bullying me. Right, you're and that's bullying a, and bullying me. Is, a little kid. You're, oh, you're 20 years old. You're a little kid, right. So if you if your lawyer is telling you that bullying, yeah, is, yeah. you can get sued for bullying. I could kill myself, bro. I could kill myself. And you should. I could kill myself because of you. You won't do it. Yeah, I should. You won't. Exactly. You won't do exactly. it. Exactly. So I hope you post this video you online, too. You won't. Are you saying you're going to do it? Are you really going to do it? Yep. I'm going to kill myself because of you. Can you live stream? trying to ruin my life. My girlfriend's family knows about it now, and I'm I'm hurt. Live I'm stream, hurt. live stream they that shit. Know about it. You're gonna kill yourself. I'll pull I'll pull a Michelle Carter right now. I'm gonna kill myself, yo. I'm gonna kill myself. You won't. You won't. I'm blowing my brains out because of you. You won't. You well, hey guys, glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Uh, this video is gonna be a little bit deep, uh, and I apologize. Um, I doubt this video gets any type of traction, but if it does get traction for any reason hopefully it helps i've been on the platform for a little over 10 years uh i've made a lot of different content from video games to movie stuff uh, skits mental health stuff streams pokemon you name it i've tried i put a lot of effort to try to make my content i try to be as genuine as possible now, this isn't me uh, coming out and bitching about my subscriber rate. It's not really about that, honestly. About a year and a half ago, I, saw, I jumped in a community that I was never really familiar with. I've always been outspoken. I've always allowed people to run me over. I've let people hurt me and everything. One thing in my life is I never want to see somebody go through that same thing. Losing everything they have. Being on the verge of committing suicide and just languishing, hoping you would die. Getting your life tore apart. Like I said, either financially or mentally, physically. I'm not a perfect person. I've made mistakes. And my content is... I don't know. I guess it's kind of wholesome, maybe. I'm not trying to toot my own horn. Uh, I can say some dumb things and some controversial things. I've never really went out of my way to do that. Uh, I never went out of my way to be like, hey, I'm going to be a controversial asshole. That's pretty strong language to use for something like this. As somebody that grown up in a home where my parents got divorced due to domestic violence, um, the screaming, the shouting, the anger, the hate. It was pretty awful. Pretty awful. Uh, I, I grown up seeing that stuff. And, yeah, I survived. I survived. I've had a lot of bad things happen on my end. I've had to try to commit suicide. I've lost a best friend. I lost my dad. He's my dad. I lost money. I lost jobs. There for a while, I couldn't even hold jobs. But a year and a half ago, I started a new experiment where I would actually try to talk about bullies in the system. One being delete laws. Another one that I probably will never touch because... I know his tactics, and I don't want my family 
or friends or my job to be jeopardized. And that brings me to a point. Your platform. So the First Amendment auditor thing, there's good First Amendment auditors, and then you got the frauditors. The frauditors are the ones that get on camera, harass people, dox people, take their money, commit crimes on camera, has kids in their videos, and breaks the law constantly. And one of the things they do, hey, one of the things they do is they do fundraisers. Fundraisers to get bail money so they can continue to make these crimes, do these crimes, and get rewarded for it. Now, they disguise this as being freedom fighters, which they're not. They say they're fighting for your freedoms, but they're attacking people with a badge that are just like you and me. Just like you and I. They just chose a job. That's what they wanted to do. They're trying to protect people because they wanted to. Now, you're going to get on me and you're going to be like, oh, cops are bad. Yeah, there are bad cops. There's good cops, too. But my question is, what is a government official like a secretary, a librarian, a doctor, a nurse, a clerk? What do they have that makes them targets to these people? These are people that's going to work to for make a living. They have kids they're trying to feed. They have homes. They don't want to be homeless. They took a path, and they chose for a government job. A lot of these First Amendment auditors talk to these people like they're slaves. You see racism prevalent within the frauditing community. You don't believe me? Our friend Elite Laws has done it several times. It's actually been kicked off TikTok for racism. Now, this is all my opinion, by the way. But it's there. We have, we have video evidence where he has been a racist calling black cops black tyrants, calling cops slaves, telling the black community how they should act or how, how they should think because they are black. Using N-words, not the full N-word, close to it. Not only that, Giving people hope that's been injustice by the justice system, treated very wrongly, saying they can help. Now, this is not just delete laws. This is a lot of these frauditors. They're saying we're going to film the police, saying they're going to protect your freedoms. They're going to solve your crimes and make everything better. They'll make the money off of you doing fundraisers. They'll use your case to broaden their brand and get more clicks. They'll take the money, they'll run with it, and they'll continue doing this over, over, and over. Same people say they don't have criminal records, and most of them do, and it has been proven. Some of these people squeal to the law, ask for daddy government to step in by suing them, trying to ruin them financially just because somebody decided to get out of their chair and stand up to them and say, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to put up with this. These same people, these same people that you uh, allow on this platform thinks it's okay for domestic violence, thinks it's just fine as long as you do not Include the police. They don't care if you beat on your significant other. But as soon as you bring the police in, then they're the victims. You have people on here, Turtle Boy, which, again, I made a video about him a while back. And the only thing he did was ask me to debate him, which there was nothing to debate. See, I don't know Turtle Boy. I don't hate Turtle Boy. I don't know him. 
I did say I saw something that bugged me and I talked about it. <clears throat> Telling or pushing somebody into offing themselves, suicide, is a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing. Telling somebody they wish their kids and the actual parents get bone cancer is a terrible, terrible thing. Doxing people, going to their houses, harassing them, putting their information online just to hurt somebody. You're allowing this. You're allowing this to happen. You're giving these people platforms to hurt people. They're hurting people, straight up. It's, there's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. You're also protecting criminals. You may demonetize them, but these people still have platforms to harass and commit crimes on cameras. To threaten people. To take their money. To be racist. To think it's okay to beat your wife. Beat your husband. Beat your children. These people use their children and their bad mistakes to try to garner sympathy. Because they're saying, oh, the cops treated me bad. When in fact, these people can't stop breaking the law. I don't know why this is allowed on YouTube. I don't know why YouTube has not stood their ground on this. I have you know, one of them is suing you currently. YouTube, you know this. Delete laws, suing you. He's filed frivolous lawsuits all over the U.S. He is trying to bankrupt people. He's taking their money. And being a fraud. Trying to give people hope that he cannot provide. While also selling a pamphlet, a trifold, and a card. With useless information that could get somebody easily either arrested or killed. I don't think it's legal to give law advice without the credentials, but you're allowing this on your platform. You're allowing people to go harassed. You're allowing people to be racist, sexist. You're allowing people to take money, commit crimes in the name of clicks. These people say they care, but they don't. I'm not the white knight. I'm not going to be able to fix things. I'm not by, by myself. Some people watch this and be like, oh, so this is cringe. That's fine. But by you supporting these people, you also support their beliefs. Like it or not, if you give money to these people, you remember that these people want your children or you to die from bone cancer. Now, I just lost somebody from cancer. I'm sure some of you have too. I lost somebody suicide. I'm sure you have too. Turtle Boy gets on and, you know, pushes people to commit suicide. We do have a clip of that. I'm not going to attack Turtle Boy again. It's not my place. I'm not going to attack Delete Laws on this either. Not my place. I might make a video about him, and I do have a video coming out tomorrow about one of his uh, drones. But you're allowing this. You're, you're allowing these people to take advantage of people. YouTube, you're a platform that could do so much good. This is going to bite you in the ass because you we've had the ad populace more than once. Remember that. And some of these people, I'm, I'm telling you, 
They're criminals. Some of them are pedophiles. We have cases of that. Sex offenders. Some people that sell GHB to children. Again, guys, this is all my opinion. But it could be easily found. All you have to do is do the digging. YouTube, I, I wish you would stand up. I wish you would take notice of this stuff. I wish you would. I wish you would take a look at the system that you're providing and see the content that's out there where people are getting hurt on a regular basis. We see the prank channels where recently we had some kid get shot for harassing somebody. People are going to get killed, okay? People are going to get hurt. They're going to get in prison. They're going to get killed. A lot of things are going to happen. And it's going to come back on you. And I don't want that because I love this platform. I love this platform. I love the people. I'm mostly unknown. Until about a year and a half ago when finally my channel started to take off a little bit. I've made a lot of friends. I've made a lot of enemies. I'm not proud of that. I don't want people to hate me. Mental health is important. Domestic violence is important. Racism is important. Sexism is important. Silly money is important. These are important things that are going to cause you problems. These are big things. Not important in a good way, but important to the way it's going to be a detriment to this platform. It's going to be hard on you guys. I really don't want YouTube to be just commercialized to the point where all it is is SNL and Lady Gaga or wow. I like creators that want to do good. I think you should too. I think you should too. I think you should take a look at this problem. This is a serious problem. This frauding First Amendment stuff, this harassment, this bullying, this prank stuff. This is awful. This is fucking terrible. You have people that are buying subscribers left and right as other smaller YouTubers try to build their channel by these other people buy subscribers. Paying for success. Not getting banned or anything. No punishment. And smaller channels, they'll get punished for calling out these atrocities that is happening on this platform. There's a lot of good people that's trying to call this out, to trying to get your attention. And I think you should wake up and take a look. I'm, I, I'm not going to beg, but I want to say you need to take a look at this. This is a serious problem. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I know this video is not going to get seen. It's probably not going to get any traction. If for some chance it does get traction, like it or hate it, thank you for giving me a chance. Thank you for watching it. I hope to God you're okay in your life. I hope everything's fine, mentally and physically. I hope your family's okay. I hope to God that you don't let these people take advantage of you. I don't want this platform to go away, okay? I, I like to be able to make this content. I really do. I really do. And I'll continue to call it out until it's gone. But I'm not going to jeopardize my family and my friends or my job so that these people can get away with it. And YouTube, you're way, you're way bigger than this. You're way better than that. Thank you so much for giving me a chance.